What is going on guys? My name is Milks1 and welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video guys, I'm doing a little bit of something different and this is how to speed up your computer in my easy four steps and these are really, really awesome. So guys, if you do go ahead and enjoy today's video at all, make sure you drop a like and subscribe and let's get straight in with today's video. So welcome back to my channel guys. Let's try and hit at least 50 likes in this video. That'll be absolutely awesome. And comment down below what type of videos you want to see on the channel next. So the first thing you want to go do to speed up your computer is click Windows key and R. If you don't know what that is, or go into the ask me button and type run these are working on windows 10 after the latest update because i know there was an update not that long ago so as soon as you've got the run menu up what you want to type in is percentage sign temp percentage sign so then it will come into this folder and you've got loads and loads of folders in here you actually don't need any of this stuff this stuff you can just delete all of it and as you can see by my background you can just highlight it all and delete it there will be things in there that you cannot actually delete but it will notify you that you can't delete them so these are actually temporary files that you your computer makes while you like so say you get receive a file off Skype like, when you're in a group chat that's where all your files go say when you're rendering a video or when you edit something that is where it all goes when you actually don't need any of that stuff so for me it actually deleted four gig of data which is absolutely insane for things that I've never even really need or look at so so the next thing you can do is you can go on back onto the run menu and you can write in MS config it will be on the screen now so you know how to spell it and then it will load up this page like this and from here what you want to go do is go to boot and then go to advanced options and then from here click number of processors as this will maximize the number of processors you've got so if you've got if you've got two processors then you've got a dual core and then if you've got four processors a quad core and it keeps going up like that and also click on maximum memory and then click ok and then after that go over on to startup and once you click on startup it will take you to your task but manager and from here you can actually disable programs that start up as soon as you turn your computer on so you know when you turn your computer on it takes a while for all your programs to load up and starts up pretty slowly this is the reason why because all of the programs you all of the programs that you install on your computer actually start up when you before the video starts so as you can see here you can enable and disable which starts up so I disable tunnelware Skype and other things and my if you if you've got iTunes on your computer, Apple always runs loads of stuff as soon as you turn on your computer, so I definitely recommend turning off them. So the next thing you can do is you can go into a program called CC Cleaner. I'll put a link in the description down to this. It's a really awesome program, free to use, and as you can see by my download thing in the background, it is like six mega thing, and as soon as that's done, just install it. it will, nothing bad will happen, and as soon as that's installed, you can just open it up and then click run scan on the cleaner this will take ages if you've never ever done this on your computer before as me this is quite a new computer and I've not actually done this so it did take me about 10 minutes but as you can see by at round about the end it did get rid of like I think um, 3 gig and then from when you've done that what you can go do is go onto the registry tab on the side and then click scan for issues and this will scan for any issues um, with your file files or your computer that, that C cleaner can actually quit, fix quickly so as you can see it scans for all my um, problems and as soon as that's done what you can go do is come up and say yes do you want to save it I would usually click no because you don't really need to save the changes you've actually made and then you click fix selected issues and then I had 175 issues and then basically they're all fixed. If you did go ahead and enjoy today's video at all make sure you do drop a like and subscribe and thank you for coming back to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Peace.